distinguished high commissioner, excellencies, distinguished delegates. In the aftermath of the Second World War, we established the foundation for a world that aspired to be more just, more free and more equal. At the heart was the Universal Declaration on Human Rights, a beacon of hope and a promise for a better future for every individual on this planet. In these testing times, with wars, climate change and social and economic challenges, it is our shared duty to uphold and to strengthen these universal values. And that's why I fully support the High Commissioner's call to breath new life into the Universal Declaration. The Declaration is the central pillar of today's global order and a crucial responsibility for all states. It is a guiding principle for Belgium's policies, both at home and internationally. As global challenges test the resilience of our local democracies, Belgium joins the pledge of the Francophonie to preserve the integrity of information and combating misinformation in the French-speaking world. We cannot protect universal rights in the absence of strong democracies. Belgium also joins the cross-regional pledge to advance the international normative framework on women's human rights. Women and girls representing half of the world's population deserve full protection of their rights, including their sexual and reproductive health and rights. For gender equality, equal participation and a violence-free life for women and girls, it is vital that women have control over their own sexual and reproductive rights. This includes access to information, health services, contraception, safe abortion and comprehensive sexuality education for all. Ladies and gentlemen, advancing human rights starts at home. That's why Belgium is taking three national pledges. First, to take institutional steps in order to enable our country to ratify the optional protocol to the UN Convention Against Torture. Second, to adopt a second national action plan on business and human rights. And third, to join the Media Freedom Coalition. Of course, we will also continue to cooperate fully with the treaty bodies and the special procedures, as well as to ensure an effective follow-up to UPR recommendations accepted during our review. And as a member of the Human Rights Council, we will pursue our efforts to contribute to a dynamic and effective Council that can fulfill all aspects of its mandate. I strongly believe that the power of democracy, human rights, dialogue and respect for differences is far greater than any form of hate and exclusion. Let's push forward a positive and hopeful story. Together, our duty is to make the Universal Declaration a living truth for all. Thank you.